Do you have a problem with your chicks or even your adult chickens kind of hanging out on the roosting bars, hanging out in the coop and not wanting to go outside? That's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm Brie Weisard. I run the blog, thefeatherbrain.com, where I teach you what your chickens want, what your chickens wish you knew. So I was inspired to make this video based on a question I got from one of my readers, Russ. Hello, Russ. And Russ had this to say about his chicks in the coop. So his chicks were about one month old when he wrote this. He says, I am loving my chickens, but they are lazy. The first several mornings I got up at sunrise around 6 a.m. to open the coop door. When I would come back to check on them between eight and nine, they would still be in the coop. Uh, once up, they eat, then walk the yard most of the day grazing. The other day, they had not come out until after 10 a.m. From everything I read, this isn't the norm, right? They seem healthy, happy, and unstressed, but just lazy when it comes to starting their day. Please let me know your thoughts about these behaviors that go against the grain of everything I've read, which was substantial. So I'm really glad, Russ, that you asked this question because it reminded me of my first time with chicks when I had a very, very similar problem. And I was very concerned about how much time my chicks were spending in the coop. And my situation was actually much worse than yours. So I started out with 30 chicks and I had some chicks where it was months before they were really coming outside. They might come outside for 10 minutes or something, but they there were so many of them that were just hanging out in the coop. And I could not understand and I was worried something was wrong with them. Um, if your chickens aren't leaving the coop and something's wrong with them, you should be able to tell by how they're acting. So they should be kind of puffed up and just looking under the weather. And um, Russ says that his look very happy and they move around outside when they do go outside. So that's not the case with his, but it is true if your chickens aren't coming out, there could be something wrong with them, but um, they kind of look like there's something wrong with them. If they're, if they're feeling that bad that they're not getting out of the coop, then you should be able to tell that there's something really wrong. But this other scenario that Russ is talking about where you have healthy, happy chickens and they're just staying in the coop kind of late in the morning, that actually is totally normal with young birds. So Russ's chickens are um, 20 weeks, I think he said, and they're just still kind of getting used to the world. And especially, Russ, I'm not sure how you raise them when they were young, but if you raise them in a small brooder, which is what most people do, uh, if you raise them in a cardboard box or a bin or just you know something that's not that big, then those chicks do have a higher fear level and that does play into their willingness to leave the coop. And that basically it just takes them just a little bit longer to understand what chickens do and that, um, that they're safe and good to go out that early. And so with my chickens, I, I raised them in a dog cage when they were chicks moved them out to the coop and some of them, you know, they just didn't want to go out and they did eventually outgrow it. The other thing I will bring up here is that for that entire first winter also, my chicks, my chickens at that point spent a lot of time in the coop. Uh, I don't think they liked the cold. So if this is your first year with chickens, then you might want to anticipate that too, that your chickens might end up spending more time in the coop than seems normal. It actually is very, very normal that first year. And my chickens outgrew that too. Their second year, they spent most of the time they spent outside of the coop. They come in occasionally to warm up under the sweeter heater. I always have sweeter heaters in there and they love that because they can come in just warm up for a few minutes and then I go back out for the rest of the day. And that does help a lot. But that first year, I just think they're not used to cold. They're just not used to the world yet. And especially since you're not integrating them into a larger flock, if you're integrating them into a larger flock, they'd probably do what those adult chickens did more readily, not at first, but eventually. Uh, but they're just young. And so this actually is totally normal. I think it might even be the norm. I will say though, that if you raise your chicks the way I raised my chicks this year, which I did it in this brooder, I'm in a camping tent. Um, the reason I'm in here right now is because I've got this little girl Hooter who just had eye surgery. And so she has to stay, stay separate from the flock for three weeks while her eye recovers. And so I just been spending a lot of time in here with her because you know, chickens shouldn't be alone for three weeks. She needs company. But I did raise my chicks in this camping tent. I have a video on it. I will link to it below. Um, but raising them in a big space like this, I was able to spend time with them. My husband spent time with them. They got used to people. I was able to cycle a bunch of toys and objects in and out. And 
because of that, their fear level is really, really low. And it's also not just me saying this. There's a lot of science that says that if you raise your chicks in very enriched environments, their fear level is very low. And there are a bunch of other benefits to it too. I talk about that more in my camping tent chick brooder video if you're interested in that. But um, when you raise your chicks like that, it is a different story. So when I took my chicks out to the brooder, they... They're just not afraid of anything. And they come just bursting out of that pop door first thing in the morning. They're all screaming and mad because apparently I get there too late, even though I let them out as soon as light. But that is a different story if you've raised your chicks that way. The normal way of raising chicks, you can expect that they're going to be more fearful and that they're just going to take a little longer to adjust to chicken norms. And so it's not even so much that they're lazy. It's just that they're young and they're still figuring the world out. So I hope that helps. Um, I guess uh, the last thing I will say is that if you have adult hens who aren't leaving the coop, um, if that's abnormal for them, then there could be something wrong with them. It could be they had a predator scare. That's very common that chicks aren't leaving, chickens aren't leaving the coop, that they've had some kind of predator scare that you don't know about. The other thing is if they are new. So if you bring in hens from another source, one time I bought some hens that were six or eight months old. I brought him in. I had a rooster that I rescued and he just needed a flock, which is why I got them. And I bought them with their coop. So they had the coop that they were raised in and they would not leave that coop. They were in that coop for two to three weeks before they'd come out. And it was a tiny coop. So it's not like they were moving around in there or anything. And it was fine. I just gave them, I just gave them the time that they needed and they came out on their own when they were ready. So that's very normal. They don't like change. Chickens are high fear animals in general because they are prey animals. And so as long as your chickens are healthy um, and like in Russ's case, they act totally normal. Otherwise, there's nothing to worry about and they will outgrow this. All right. Hope that helps. Happy chickening.